what's the significance of Eve? Is there any? Yes, Eve is a uh, again a metaphorical construct. Uh, it is applied by the authors of the New Testament to represent those who are receiving the seed of understanding and becoming the first church. Paul says that. The, Eve is the church, and this is a great mystery in the book of Ephesians, fifth chapter. However, who is it that is the receptive principle of creation but the Divine Mother herself? And if the Divine Mother did not descend into what we perceive is the darkness of the feminine principle, then we would never know the difference between good and evil. So it is wisdom herself that has allowed us to eat from this, that dark side of the tree that we have commanded not to. But if we didn't, we could never be created in her image. And therefore, um, we would never know the difference between good and evil. So this is the effects of the creative mind of the father and the mother, one with each other. They put the tree of the knowledge of good and evil in the garden and said, do not eat from it, but we must eat from it because it's a metaphor of human experience itself. And without the experience, with our own darker impulses, our own darker side, we could never come these 6,000 years later to a state of divine consciousness. And once we have attained to it, however, and we see that the good and the evil come from the same source, from God, then I understand the meaning of my own nature in its relationship to God. I understand I have this dark impulse within me. And when I subdue this dark impulse within myself and I keep it captive, I become literally the true holy warrior, which God is. And when I am making war against the lower impulses of my own nature, God, who dwells in all reality, is making war against the darkness that pervades this age. And that's what God is doing. So we are warriors. God is a warrior. But a true holy warrior is one who has overcome the darkness of themselves and are now has come alive to a state of Christ or Buddha consciousness and can see God in the sum of all reality. And they don't go out to make war against God, but they make war against the darkness that is deceiving the people, making it uh, impossible for the people to perceive the nature of God. So now the new atoms are standing on the earth because we are now receiving the same revelation that God gave to the first Adam. And that is, I am the sum of all reality. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Everything that's coming is coming from me. And I am bringing it in the interest of the light itself. I am bringing darkness to its conclusion. And so that's in essence what we are seeing unfolding. We are seeing all these archetypal realities unfolding in our time. And uh, it's because we've come to the fullness of the process of creation itself. And now we are being created in the image of the divine, uh, who is the sum of all natural and human events. There's nothing but God. God pervades the universe.